surface area. The three different areas, the three different surfaces. Six. Okay, let's do the bottom. The bottom. The bottom area is four by three. This is our bottom area. So that bottom area, just the bottom area, is 12 inches, but I have a bottom and I have a top that are the same area. So it's 12 in the bottom plus 12 in the top. That's 24. That's the first one we found. 24 inches squared, which is the bottom and the top. Now let's do the front and the back. The front is four by three. So that comes out to 12, but there's two of them. There's the front and the back. So it's 12 plus 12, that's also 24. Now the side to side. If this bottom on this side is three, what is the height here? Three. Three, because you bring it over from here. So this is three inches. And if we just do this side, that's nine. But there's two of them. There's this side and there's this side. So it's nine plus nine is 18. Now, the six different areas we add up. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 2 plus 2. 4, 5, 6. 66 inches squared. Oh, that didn't look so hard. Just like, just add one question though. Like, when you like measure, like, do you measure the thing in the bottom, like, it measure it? Yeah, you look at the numbers, see what measures what. Find the areas separately, and then add them all together. The hardest part is to find what the dimensions are. Okay, on the back of that sheet of paper, you have a, you have a worksheet, gentlemen. You have a worksheet that looks like this, same thing. On the back, same worksheet, different numbers. We're going to find volume first and then surface area. Volume was extremely simple, especially compared to surface area. Volume was the equation for volume. Length times width times height. Okay, so let's just take the three numbers and multiply them together. So it's it's um, 8 times 8 times 4. So it's 64 times 4. That's 16. Carry the 1. 24, 25. 256. We're talking about volume. So it's 256 inches cubed. Because that operation is so simple, most of you get the number right, but you'll forget to put the units. Do not forget to put the units, Marquise. Units are in volume cubed or to the third power. Now because it's so simple, let's do number three volume. Number three, volume. Same equation for volume. Length times width times height. The three numbers, just multiply them together. First one is two times three times three. So it's two times three times three. This is six. Six times three is 18. 18 inches to the third power. Eighteen cubed inches, inches cubed.
volume extremely simple. So let's do something simpler. Let's find surface area. How would you find for number one, how would you find the surface area? Let's find the different areas first, separately. Eight times four, you said. Eight times four would be this front side. Eight times four, but how many sides, how many front, there's a front, there's a back. So eight times four is 32, times two is 64. 64 inches squared. That's the front and the back, because it's eight times four. Now let's do the bottom and the top. You're gonna be the same. How do you find the bottom area? Four times eight. No, eight, eight times, times eight. eight. Oh. Eight times eight is the bottom. Four. So the bottom, down here, that's eight times eight. Eight times eight is 64, but we have a bottom and we have a top. So eight times eight is 64 times two, 128. 128. So we did from back, bottom top. Now we have to do the sides, which I'm gonna point like this. This side here, that's one side, and this side over here, it's another side. Because the dimensions are different, I have the base of this side, eight, but what's the height of this side? Four, four. four. So I bring it over from here. So it's eight times four to find the area, but there's two of them. Eight times four, eight times four. So it's, what is it? 64? Yeah. 64 inches screw. Now we add the three, the, those, those numbers up, which represents six surface areas. Eight times four is 12, this is 16. Six plus six, 12, 13, 14, 15. I carry the one, two, 256 inches squared because it's area. Did you get that? Did you get that? I'm not done So it's 256 inches squared. Let's find the surface area for number three. I'll give you four minutes again. Surface area for number three. Remember there's a total of six sides. Two more minutes. Yes. yes. Can the volume and the surface area be the same? Maybe, but you could use different units. Volume is inches cubed, area is inches squared. They might be, but. So it could be. It could be. A
Okay, I'm going to find the area of the front. The front is this piece here and that piece back there. So what's the area of the front? Well, the area of the front is 6, 2 times 3. But there's two of them. There's a the front and the back. So together it's 12 inches squared. That's the front and the back. Now if we do this side to side, if we do this side back there, and we do this side up here on the sides, that's the harder one. We have the base. What's the height? Three. So the side is three by three, but there's two of them. There's this side and this side. So it's nine times two is 18. 18 inches squared. You need the bottom, top, side, side. Front, what's the back? Three times two, right? The back. So this here is three times two is six. Six, six, twelve. Twelve inches squared. So it's 12 plus 18 plus 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 42 inches square. Okay, for homework for both sheets, it's two, four, two, and four. So the homework, listen up. Homework is two, four, two, and four. Front and back, the ones we didn't do. Now each of those, you're going to find the volume and the surface area. One other thing I have to cover, uh, Jason. Actually, you're blind. Yes. This is your Excel. Username and password. I'm going to briefly go over what it looks like. On Friday. This week, I'll wait till Friday. When you go to Excel, you log in. Write this down on your, um, yeah, didn't change. In your IXL, let me give you the homework that I signed this week. Okay. Thank you. I excel. Okay. This is number one on the, the first of the sheets. The one where you have an eight, seven, and a five. Okay, that's the first box. 
if you notice, the box has <coughs> dashed lines in the back. The dashed lines in the back represent the back of the box that you can't see from the front, but you know it's in the back. This is what we call a three dimensional. Three dimensions. The three dimensions are length, width that form the base, and the height is how tall it is. So it's length, width, and height. And it's 3D. There are two things you're finding in this, in this problem. You're going to find volume, yes, sir. Yeah, try and see the light. The first thing we're going to do is find the volume. The volume is the easiest. This is called a rectangular prism, a fancy term for a box, rectangular prism. And the equation for the volume is very simple. It's base times height, I'm sorry, base times width times height. Base times width times height. That's the equation for the volume of a rectangular prism. It's also, you can put length with height, which is the same thing. The base is the one of the sides, the width is the other side of the bottom, and the height is how tall it is. So you just take those three numbers and multiply them. Why? I can't see. Right. It's, not us. it's not our fault. You can't see. Listen, listen. Come up. Come up. Jason, take that chair and bring it up here. Right there. I need right here, inside. Okay, length times width times height. So all we do is plug in the numbers. What is our length, what is our width, what is our height? It's eight times seven times five. We multiply that, that's the volume. So eight times seven, what is eight times seven? 56 times 5. So it's 8, eight times 7 is 56 times 5. 56 times, okay, just to verify. 30, 30 carry the 3, 25, 26, 27, 28. 280. What is that? Okay, the only thing that we have left is. What units do we use? Inches. Well, they give us inches, but now we're talking about volume. Whatever's inside something. Not the, not the area, but the volume. That's a cube unit. So we put inches to the third power, representing three-dimensional. If it's uh, area, it's just two-dimensional. And if it's a length, it's just one-dimensional. So there's inches for length, squared inches for area, and cubed inches for volume. That's where you get the units from. Don't forget to put that last little bit. It's cubed, or inches to the third power, or square is cubic inches. That's another way to put it. Would we put a square? Ah, I just circled it. That's all you need to do? Yes. Surface area is different. We're just volume, that's what you have to do. Look at number three. If the equation is that simple, volume is length times width times height, then we just plug in the numbers. Length, width, height. Four times three times three. That's not bad. What is four times three? Twelve. So it's twelve times three. Thirty-six. So our volume is 36 inches cubed. They gave us inches, so we use inches cubed, or square, or cubed inches. Yes? Where do you get the three from? Length, width, like and then height. Wait, 
times three. Four times three. It's base. Four times three. Times four width. Times three. Four times three. And then times three. Oh, okay. This is the height. Alright. Last one for volume. Actually, that's it for volume. We do have a problem, though. They ask for volume, but they also ask for surface area. That's a little more complicated. Anybody wrote these numbers down? The recording yesterday came out a lot better. Um, I still mumble too much. I'm sorry about yesterday. I did one of these. What was that? And he came to talk to me and I did this. I've never done that before. I didn't mean any disrespect. It was just stupid. Surface area. The first question we have to ask is, for each shape, how many surfaces are there? In this box, and this is where your three-dimensional mind has to come in, how you can see some, something. How many surfaces? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, the top, six, and the bottom. There's six surfaces. There's six surfaces. Yeah, there's one here in the front. Call this one one. There's this one over here. Two. Now this one back there, you can only see kind of sort of. That's three. The one in the back, that's four. And then the top. I'm gonna put it up here. The top is five and the bottom is six. No, we didn't do the bottom. We did the front. The sides, and then the top, and then the bottom. Like this. One, top and bottom. One, two, three, four. But we notice that this area up here, a little differently, this area here, we're shaded like that, is the same as the area back there. It's the same area. And the top area, the top area up here, is the same area as the bottom over here. And the back and the front are same areas. So if we find the area of just the bottom, the side, and the top, then we multiply each one by two. So how do you find the area of this piece, which is right here in the front? That looks like a rectangle. Just multiply five times two, eight times seven times seven. No. First find the area. The area of the front, in other words, this area here, that you can see in front of the box, that'd be this area right here. How do you find the area? If you if you look at it right, it looks like this on if you're looking at three dimensional, two dimensional. It's like this where this is eight, and that's five. How would you find that area? That's a rectangle. Multiply five times eight. Perfect. Perfect. Multiply five times eight. Why? Listen, that's length, that's width for this area in the front. For this area in the front, eight times five. So the first area, I'm going to label it first area. First area is equal to eight times five. That's the first area, the one in the front. One up here. <coughs> But there are two of them. There's the front and there's the back. So it's 8 times 5 <coughs> times 2. That gives me the front and the back. So 80. So 80. That's the front and the back. That's So far, we have 80. It's area, so it's inches squared. It's area. The front and the back. Add those two together, it's 80 inches squared. Now let's do the sides. If we do the sides, that's our base. With question? Yes. After we, um, 
Uh, do all that. Do we have to add it all? Yeah, exactly. You can add all the surface areas. You put eighty in the back. Yeah, but no, four in the front, four in the back. To add it together, give you eighty. So that's, the that's for the front and the back. That's the first part. So it's eighty inches squared to start. Now we're gonna do the sides. This side, the base is seven and the height five. is five so this area over here seven times five, seven times five 35. 35 but then there's two set there's two sides of that there's this front and this back 70. so it's this and this so it's 35 plus 35 70. or 35 times 2 which is 70. Inches squared. So we did that. We did this. Now let's do the top and the bottom. So eight times eight. So the top. This length over here is seven. Because this if this length is seven, and that length is seven. If this length down here is eight, this length right here is eight. And as for the top, the top is 8 times 7. That'll give us this area up here. 8 times 7 is 56. But there's two of them. There's the top and there's the bottom. So 56 plus 56 is what? 112. 112. So it's 112 inches squared. Notice that the actual operation is simple, but you have to do it three times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add all these three up. The area of the top, the bottom, the side to side, the front and the back. Add up all the areas. So it's 112 plus 7 plus 80 comes out to 262. And this is area. Area, area. area area is in squared, so this is also in squared. We're talking about area. Area is two-dimensional. Volume is three-dimensional. It is straightforward. It's just wait till you get the surface area of a, a basketball. That's a lot harder. Too much water. Ball. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a little weird. It's gonna take a long time for you to get this. So, uh, no, just find the different areas and add them up. Okay, number three. I'll give you about four minutes to start. For number three. For number three, we're gonna find the surface area. Surface area. For number three. I'll give you about four minutes. Front, back. Top, bottom, side, side. Add them up. This is front and the back. Thank you. This front is three times four. That's the first surface area. You multiply it by two because of the back one that just looks just, look just like. So this is 12 inches squared, and the back is 12 inches squared. What is that? Okay. So you this one here now. Now let's do the top and the bottom. The bottom is four by three, so that's 12. That means the top is four by three, which is 12. So we have those two is 24. 12 on the bottom, 12 on the top, 24. Now we do the sides. Size is more complicated because this looks like three. That back one here is three. So this side becomes three, nine. Plus this side is also nine. We have these numbers up and get the answer. Wait, wait, wait. Nine, nine, twelve, twelve, and then twelve, twelve. 
I think the homer's going to be number two and four, volume and rec volume and surface area. I think you get it right. I didn't check the number actually. All right, Joe is right. What'd you get? I'm probably going to be ready.